my channel where we're about that breaking cycle of life. It's another Sunday, guys. It's another Sunday. And you know what that means. It's Sunday Song Spotlight. And I have a great song for you. I actually chose another song last night, but then when I went back into YouTube, I saw that this just posted by Jonathan McReynolds. I was like, okay, let me listen to this new song. And it was, as always, fire. Like, I love Jonathan's creativity. No joke. The way God really has, like, really talented children. Just saying, right? And this song for this week is for myself by Jonathan McReynolds and featuring Chandler Moore. When I heard it last night, I was like, yep, that's me. That's my life. He's speaking about me. And I'm pretty sure as I go through these lyrics today and then you go and listen to this song, you will also feel what I felt last night. Because trust me, when God takes you through like some trials and you see that he actually comes through for you then yeah you can sing this song with all power and might and all conviction so let's get into it because it's a pretty long song uh, i don't know what's wrong with these people and their long songs but yeah <laughs> um let's get into it it says the verse one it says i've seen it for myself all the stories I can tell of an ever-present help and a God that just won't fail. Mm. Just the first verse just caught me. Like, I've seen it for myself. And it's the truth. Like, trust me, guys, when you go on that journey with God and you actually see that beam of hope, that light at the end of the tunnel, and it actually fulfills, you're like, whoa you know and then when you're telling your stories to others it's like you can't believe it's happened it has happened to you and they also can't believe that has happened to you right and it just makes your testimony that much greater that much convincing you know that there is a god in heaven and the fact that he is definitely at ever present help and he won't fail. And it goes into the first refrain. It says, if you're thinking that my father is incapable of healing, let me tell you, if you're thinking that he isn't strong enough to solve your problems, let me tell you. <laughs> I am still in the process of, you know, this part. If you're thinking that my father is incapable of healing, I know he will heal um the people in my life that are sick right and i have seen him heal people and it just takes literally it takes a lot of faith like honestly and even with faith it also takes understanding to know that okay regardless of faith you still have to have faith in the fact that okay god your will be done not mine because honestly sometimes his will for our life is better than what we are trying to have faith in because to be honest, we can have so much faith in something that's not God's will. And we ought to take note of that. That not because you're exercising that much faith, you're praying that much. If it's not God's will for our lives, then we have to take peace and rest in the fact that, okay, we'll have faith that we will be, we will survive this trying time of losing a loved one or of not seeing a loved one heal right and that takes even much <laughs> even greater faith than exercising to the point of having someone be restored fully right and god bless those hearts that can have faith and praise him even in those times when god doesn't answer the prayer that you are praying in regards to the healing of someone a loved one right but it doesn't mean he is not thinking sometimes the healing is not earthly it is heavenly so have rest have faith in the fact that god restored them or healed them completely 
so that when he returns he can, that person that loved one can be with them can be with him in heaven okay now it says <laughs> again if you're thinking that he isn't strong enough to solve your problems listen that one i can tell for sure god is strong enough to solve my problems like like there's absolutely no one else that can give me solutions to life and i thank god that he is here in my life to help me find these solutions because without him like i don't know what would happen to me honestly okay let's move on and it repeats the verse it repeats the first verse it says i know it for myself and i know this story well so instead of saying i've seen it for myself this time it's like i know it for myself because you can see the experience and the blessings of others but trust me when you experience it yourself it's even <laughs> the story is even more concrete if you put it that way right so this time he's like i know it for myself and i know this story well yeah exhibit a he is an ever-present help with a love that just won't fail and then the second refrain it says if you're feeling that you've drifted way too far and he can't reach you let me tell you if you're feeling that you're way too damaged for my god to use you let me tell you this one really breaks my heart like whenever i'm speaking to people about god or about venturing out on doing something that will benefit them that fear of thinking that I'm not good enough I'm like why would you and I I can say I get it but at the same time I don't because I know like whenever I sin yeah I feel bad but honestly like who else is going to help me out of it but God like I've come to the point where yes if I sin I I break down and I cry to God and I talk to God and then he restores my confidence in him and restores that faith, that love that he has for me, in me, so that I can continue on this journey. And I really pray that others experience this because running away from God doesn't, it really doesn't help. It makes your pain and your suffering worse. And the only person that can really help you out of this situation is the person you're running from. Like, run to him. Don't believe the lies that the devil is telling you or is whispering in your ears. Run to God. And you will realize that he is the best of suffering and he is so understanding. He's not there to condemn you or put you in hell or anything. Mind you, what the real definition of hell is. Not to throw you into everlasting fire. That's not what hell is okay but god is there to save us from death second death right and if you just just form that relationship with him and realize that he really is your best friend and then <laughs> this feeling of you drifting away and you're not being you're not worthy enough will definitely reduce over time because you realize that God is there for you. And just as our friend is there through the good and the bad times, that is who Jesus is to me. And that is who he wants to be to you, right? And <laughs> he can use anyone. I remember I saw a video by Kirk Franklin. He was like listing all of the people that God used and how they weren't necessarily notary <laughs> people, notable people, right? And he listed, uh, he listed them. He was like, Moses was a murderer. He's like, Paul also was a murderer. And he just listed all of the bad things about these people. But God used them, right? And I just want you guys to realize that God doesn't care about your past. He cares about your heart. And if you realize that he can use you, then if you realize that and actually submit yourself to the fact that he can use you then you, there's really nothing to fear when it comes to god to be honest moving on to the chorus it says i've seen it i've lived it i've witnessed that he will come through for you and that's repeated then they're going to the post chorus which is just um, repetition of oh, oh, oh's. 
right? And then it goes into verse 3. It says, yeah, I've had some doubts myself, but the years have taught me well. There's no question that he's real, and I don't need nobody else. <laughs> doubting Thomas. I will call myself doubting Shani. My mommy calls me that sometimes whenever I'm going through my problems. <laughs> and I'm like, mommy, this is happening. This is happening. You sure this is going to happen? She's like, Shani, doubting Shani. <laughs> <laughs> right it's like um shani if god said it will happen just believe that it will happen hey thank you god for a mother of faith right like i told i keep telling her mommy you're the only person that could mother a shani and she's like i know <laughs> right like her her support she has my faith backbone it's just amazing and i thank god for my mother every day honestly right and i understand if you have doubts out there like having doubts is a part of the process and god understands that so you are free to have your doubts but don't let it overcome you to the point where you stop believing in god you you have to reassure yourself and and allow god to reassure you with his word with the with the fact that he came through in the past even though it's frustrating it's so frustrating when the trials come and it just really seems like nothing will happen. Yeah. But God is there for you. And if you reminisce on the past and how he worked things out in the past, trust me, you can definitely survive through these times when you're doubting. And have a prayer warrior mom like mine, honestly. Um, but it doesn't have to be in the form of a mom. Just have that support. Find a faith friend and definitely lean on them to have your back when it comes to god bringing you through these these situations that your faith is like really really tested right and i, I really love how he put his like he he's had some doubts himself but the years have taught him well there's no question that he's real and i don't need anyone he doesn't need anyone else trust me i've learned this so far like as I told you from the start, I'm like, honestly, there is absolutely no one that can give me solutions apart from God. And if you are not in line with what God is, um, what God would say to me, then your, like, your advice is definitely not something that I would really take into, uh, into consideration because I have seen God for myself and I know his voice and how his children speak so i always crave that kind of intelligence that wisdom that advice right and it goes on to the chorus and then the chorus this chorus has a part two he says he did it for himself he did it it's finished so trust him i know he'll come through for you so let me read that fully he's like i've seen it I've lived it, I've witnessed that he will come through for you. And that's repeated twice. And then he said, he did it. It's finished. So trust him. I know he'll come through for you. And then it goes into the bridge. It says, yeah, it's all true. He heals, he delivers. I know he'll come through. It's all true. He's a providing God. He is who he says he is. It's all true. I know he'll come through. It's all true. Yeah, he's a good, good father, a good, good friend. Yeah, he'll always be with you. I know he'll come through. It's all true. He never lies. I know he'll come through. And then you have the outro. It says, it's all true. It's not just stories anymore. That, this part really got me. Like, really. It's like, it's not just stories anymore. It's not reading it on a page we've seen it like when the bible comes alive in your life like when you are going through the motions with god and then you can literally compare your life to the characters in the bible it's like whoa i understand it on a deeper level now and that's what this part of the song is saying it's not just stories anymore it's not just reading it on a page we've seen it it's not just stories anymore. I've seen it in front of my face. Yeah, seen it with my own life. Seen it in my own life. Like, so now you understand why I chose this song because 
definitely this song speaks of my life and if you know my story then you will know that this song definitely resonates with me and if you're someone that god takes you through like trials like you know um you see that um instagram video going around or trends like take me off the warrior list for 2023 trust me i've been praying this since like i stepped foot in china <laughs> I'm like, please stay me off the warrior list since 2017, right? But I'm still here. And uh, <laughs> it just amazes me that I survived in these things. And it was only because of God. And we thank God that he granted me the strength to get through these trials. Because trust me, whew, right? <sighs> but God is good, to be honest. And I really hope that you go and listen to this song. And realize that um, and if you have definitely seen it for yourself and been through the trials of God just keep holding on and trust and go tell your stories and tell them that it's not just stories anymore like it's your life and bring others to Christ through through the life that you live Okay, guys, so go listen to this song, For Myself, by Jonathan McReynolds, featuring Chandler Moore. It's a beautiful song. It just got posted last night or one day ago. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Trust me, it's worth it. Go listen to this song, right? And I will see you on Thursday for Bible study. Bye-bye, guys. Have a great day and a great week. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's encouragement and I hope you guys are ready for the day ahead. Now do me a favor and press that like button and subscribe button if you are new so that we can get more of this positive Christian content out into the world, okay? And I'll link my daily devotional playlist right here and my Let's Talk playlist if you want to tackle some social issues, okay? So have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.